continuing where we left off with the last video, now we're going to connect all the sources and drains using vias, add a substrate contact, and array this gate contact. So the first thing that we need to do is to copy the diagonal pattern once. I'm going to hit C, select the diagonal pattern, and copy it one time to this point. Now we want to copy this several times so that we can we don't have to redraw this pattern. So we can hit C and we'll array it three times. Three rows. You can select anywhere on the screen and you're just going to move it by a certain reference. But I want to move from this point up to this point, so I'm going to select the polysilicon gate at the bottom corner, copy it up to this point, and then go up to this point. You see we got a couple of extra stragglers there, you can just select those and delete them. Just draw a rectangle around them with the left mouse button and press delete. Now we need to add source and drain contacts. The source we're going to connect up to metal 3 using a via and run a, a, a metal 3 strip right down the middle of the transistor. The drain will connect up to metal 2 and route out to the left and right respectively. So with this fingered structure, the center between two, between two gates is the drain and on the opposite sides of the source. So this would be a source, this would be a drain, this would be a source, and it would repeat all the way to the top of the transistor. So I'm going to hit Alt C V and I'm going to do a stack via for the source contact that's going to start on metal one and go to metal three. And we want to have two columns. I'm going to center this. and place it. Now for our drain via, we just need to do a single via with two columns. I'm going to place, center this one and place it as well. All right, at this point, we need to copy this. I'm going to select the vias that I just drew and hit C and we need to do it one, two, three, four, five times. So I'm going to change it to five rows. Again select a convenient snap point. Now I'm going to copy these and move them to the other transistor. The license is giving a little bit of a lag here. We'll just wait a moment. All right, so we only need to do this operation for one array. All right, we have one extra drain contact we can just select and delete. So the basic structure of the transistor is done. What we need to do now is add a metal three strip First, we're going to add a source con a, a, a substrate contact by drawing an active layer. Go to RX Drawing, and we're going to make a path that is 0.48 microns wide with a left justification, and this needs to be spaced 20 micron or 0.2 microns away from the closest polysilicon. So here we can see that uh, the x coordinate here is minus 2.24. We need to move this over to minus 2.44 and click. You'll start drawing the path. So again, that was P to, to start the path command. I'm going to turn gravity on because I need to go 0.4 microns beyond the active contact for the transistor. 
So we can see that that's at a y coordinate of minus 0.46, so we need to go to minus 0.86. We're going to go over to x coordinate 2.44 so that we're symmetric. Alright, so we should now have a U-shaped loop surrounding the transistor in the Rx, which is the active layer. Now we're going to place a BP drawing on top of this active layer. This is basically putting a P plus region so that we can make an ohmic contact to the substrate. Now ultimately we want this source contact to the, the uh, we want the source of the transistor to make contact to the substrate. So I'm going to hit Alt C V and we're going to do a via stack from Rx up to M3 and we're going to do it with several columns. turn the gravity off and snap it right to the middle of that structure. Now, In this one, we want to get rid of the extra enclosure for the RX layer, so I've unselected compute enclosures. I'm going to make the top and bottom zero. Now we're going to route the metal three contact to make contact with the sources. I'm going to select M3, make sure that we're on the drawing layer. I'm going to put a path that's 0.84 microns wide right through the middle of these vias. Oh, I need to change the orientation or the justification to center. Again, I'm just kind of keeping an eye on the x and y coordinates and the delta x and delta y coordinates up here to see where I need to make my snaps. Alright, so now we have the two transistors completed other than that we need to make the drain contacts. We can make the drain contacts with simple paths. So we want these to be on metal two. We're going to select metal 2 drawing, hit P, and I'm going to change the width to 0.28. That should make it flush exactly. And we're just going to route out into space here for a moment and double click. All right, now I'm going to make drain contacts. I'm going to make drain uh, stripes on metal 3. I'm going to go to M3 drawing. I'm going to select P. I'm going to give this a left justification and it needs to be 0.84 microns wide so we can get two vias into it. I'm going to copy this once. I'd like to have a separation of about 0.42. So 
So I've moved this 0.84. I need to, to make the dx 1.26. All right, now I'm going to stretch these out so that I'm 0.42 microns away from the substrate contact. For no real good reason other than symmetry. So I'm going to press S, select this whole structure like so. All right. Now I'm going to make the next drain contact by going to metal 2, drawing, I'm going to set a path, I need to change the justification back to center. Alright, now we need to put vias in this structure. Alt C V, and these need to be single vias from metal two to metal three with two columns. Now we're going to copy these. We need two copies. And of course we can just get rid of the extra one. Now we can select this whole structure, copy it, just need one. We're going to copy it sideways, like so. Now I'm going to stretch the top uh, the metal here by pressing S, selecting those vertices. I'm going to pull the metal up just a little bit, and I'm going to make an M2 path by going P. This one needs to be 0.84. I'm going to give it a left justification, and we're going to turn gravity on by pressing G and draw a metal stripe like so. I'm going to copy this one. I only need one copy, and I want it to be separated by 0 0.4, 0 0.42 microns, so I'm going to move it down 1.26. All right, now the goal here is that this drain connects to this drain, which connects to this drain, and so on. So all of these transistors need to be tied to these two transistors. So I'm going to place a via, Alt C V, with two rows and two columns from metal two to metal three here. And here. Now these this via needs to make a contact to these transistors, so I'm going to place another via here. and here. And now our basic structure is done. We can put pins for gate 1, gate 2, drain 1, drain 2, and the source pin. For a completed version of this layout, you can look at my test diff pair and my ECE5321 path.